Jan Ezra here. Today I'm going to show you how to stream to Facebook Live a multi-camera production that's based on an iPad or mixed on an iPad using a product called Switcher Studio. So that's the program that you're looking at now. We see the four inputs on the lower left. Input one, this guy, is the input from the, uh, the camera, the front-facing camera on the iPad. Input two, this guy, is a screen from a Mac that's on the same network as the, um, as the iPad. So we're going to look at two streams from that Mac. You download a piece of software from the Switcher Studio website, and then you can send the screen or send a webcam from your Mac to the, um, to, to the production here. And number three, this is a iPhone that's located a little bit away. Again, you download uh, the Switcher Studio software app onto your iPhone. You, you, uh, you connect the cameras with the, um, with the software, or the connect the camera with the iPad, and then you can, uh, you can include that feed in. And then the last stream in, number four, this guy here, is the, um, is the webcam from my Macintosh. So we've got four, four incoming streams here. Um, let's run through the software pretty quickly. Here's where you choose your inputs. Um, pretty easy process to, to match the iPhone with the software or match the, the Mac with the software. And here's where you choose the output. So we've, we're streaming to Facebook Live, as I talked about at the front. And you can connect to Facebook. You can connect to any RTMP-based server. So you've got Wowza Media Server or, or Livestream or Ustream or another service. You can, uh, you can connect fairly easily. There are templates for the most common services like YouTube Live and Facebook Live. allowed me to very easily connect um, Switcher Studio to Facebook Live for this, um, for this presentation. And come back for director mode. These are the, uh, the effects you can use when switching cameras. So if we wanted to switch from, from this image to the computer screen, we've got the cross dissolve, come over here, another cross dissolve, come over here, another cross dissolve. I like the cuts myself. Um, one really cool feature down here is the multi-view. So we've got a PowerPoint slide set up, and if I if I enable picture in picture, I can put the PowerPoint slide up there. I can, you know, let's make it more realistic. This is the webcam footage here. And if I use gesture controls, I can make it bigger and smaller. And then I make it live. So now what I'm doing is I'm broadcasting what essentially looks like what looks like a webinar from uh, from the Switcher Studio software from an iPad. So very cool ability to mix um, with pretty good control over you know, over the feeds that are included in the, um, in, in the live stream. So let's get rid of this. Now we're back in single mode, back over here, moving along the line. Um, we have camera control. You get this on each camera that's attached to the, um, you know, so if you, once you download the Switcher Studio software, you get this level of control on every camera. This, this, um, this is applicable to the camera on the iPad. Um, obviously you'll have one for the iPhones or any other devices you have connected. Here's your, your audio connectivity. Um, the audio that is captured with the live production is the audio that's input into the iPad. So in this case, I've got a microphone on that's leading directly into the iPad. None of the audios from any of the other sources is, is included in the production. You can capture both the, uh, the, uh, the mixed live feed or essentially what are ISO streams of all the other inputs, and then you can do that mixing later on down the road. But during the live event, um, if you have high quality audio, you need to connect it to the iPad, not one of the other cameras. And then I haven't set this up yet, but if you wanted to include graphics elements like a full screen slide or an overlay, um, you could do that fairly easily. So, you know, again, this is, this is a product that can both um, stream live, we're streaming live to Facebook Live, record all the individual streams, and record um, a mixed stream for later reuse or upload to a VOD, uh, VOD service. See if I forgot anything. Yeah, let me talk about director mode real quick. Um, if you're broadcasting from a location that has low outbound bandwidth, say one megabit per second, you're gonna have to send your live stream out at say 360p. Um, in normal mode, if you send out at 360p, you're gonna capture the live feed at 360p, and then you can capture all the individual streams at full resolution and then mix it later um, you've, you're starting fresh, right? You've got to do that without the benefit of any of the cuts that you made live. If you switch into director mode, what you can do is you can, um, you don't use the camera on the iPad during the production. 
you send out your 360p stream or whatever it ends up being, but the, the software captures all of the high quality, all the, the original resolution streams and mixes those in the copy that's stored for VOD upload. So you still get the 360p stream out, but the version that's recorded is at full resolution. And you, not only do you get that um, full resolution recording, you also get the ability to export that with all the cuts intact to Final Cut Pro for further editing. So that's what director mode does. Um, and that's it. So now you know how to broadcast to Facebook Live using Switcher Studio from an iPad with up to four, uh, four video inputs. I'm Jan Oser. Thanks for watching.